As election officials across the nation struggle to find poll workers, there is an effort going on in Chautauqua County, New York. It is to get the next generation of voters involved. Justin Gould with our news partner WNY News Now has more on the push to hire precinct workers. Tuesday is National Poll Worker Recruitment Day, and at the Chautauqua County Board of Elections, Commissioners Luce Torres and Brian Abrams are looking to boost recruitment to aid in the electoral process. We have a shortage here in Chautauqua County, and uh, we're looking to recruit people to come on out and help us, you know, at the various times of the year, mostly in June and in November, to uh, become part of democracy and help your fellow residents here in Chautauqua County vote. Each poll worker makes minimum wage and would undergo paid hands-on training. They must be registered to vote. The commissioner encourages people of all ages to apply, and specifically schools to get their of-age students interested in democracy. We have certain schools that uh, are definitely adapting to the process of allowing their government class normally to come out and help us. Um, you know, the city schools are, are the most important when it comes to the amount of poll sites that need to be manned. Abram continued that the students that work the polls usually don't want to leave. He says it also encourages them to vote. Get them at that early stage and kind of get them uh, involved at that moment is a plus. It's a plus for them. It's a plus for us and for them to understand and know who's on the ballot and how the system works. And, you know, they can be very educated by, you know, having their hands around the process. In addition, students are encouraged to vote to improve the lives of those around them, whether or not they plan to leave for college, the military, a job, or stay home in the coming years. Reporting in Jamestown, New York, Justin Gould, WNY News Now. And anyone interested in applying can learn more at VoteChautauqua.com. Officials are also looking for Spanish interpreters as well. You'll be able to also find some more information on our website at ErieNewsNow.com.